Hi, today is, uh, what day is it? It's Saturday, it's July 18th, 2009, and in less than two weeks, my best friend is leaving. Um, like, I don't even know how many years ago, five years ago, something-ish. Um, a mutual friend was like, hey, you should meet Hattie. Um, she lives in town, and she's really cool, and I think you'd like to hang out with her. And I was like, what the fuck ever. Um, but our friend, our mutual friend was like, no, you guys should totally hang out. And we went to a bar and had a beer and it was like, I don't know if I, like, why am I on a friend date with this like random girl that my friend wanted to set me up with as like a friend? Um, and then we we're talking and she was like, yeah, um, I was driving today and a big semi was coming towards me and I was like, well, if I pulled in front of him, would he kill me? Or would I just be in the hospital for a really long time? Because if he killed me, that would be fine. But if I had to be in the hospital in pain and traction for a really long time and then have to go back to the office later, um, yeah, that I, I just, I'd rather just die. And I was like, I do that all the time. So um, through that little fucked up exchange about driving back to the office and thinking, hmm, maybe I'll just die, a friendship was formed. And, um... She's the only person I've ever met whose family is actually more fucked up than mine. And um, I've known her for so long and that like we've gone through all the stories and whatever that uh, when we're hanging out with other people and we're like laughing and telling stories about our families, I'm like, tell the one about that time when your mom got drunk and took off on the mountain bike into the desert and then the sheriffs had to rescue her off a cliff three days later when she was naked. And um, like Hattie and I will laugh our asses off and everybody else is like, awkward. Um, so it kind of sucks. She is leaving and she's going to Las Vegas to pursue her dream of, uh, being a dancer. Or not. She's actually going to be a teacher. I don't know why you'd want to go to Las Vegas to be a teacher, but that's following her dream. And, um, it's going to be interesting because she's not taking a car and, um, she's not going to have a bed. And um, she's suffering a lot for her dream to teach in the public school system. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think I had other stuff that I was going to talk about. Um, but I think mainly that's, that's it for the day. I'm going to be a little sad when she goes. But uh, putting things up on YouTube is actually probably the only way that I will keep in touch with her. Because bitch is terrible about like letters or phone calls. I know I'm old. Um, I actually like remember writing letters and put, putting a stamp on them and putting it in the mailbox. Um, ask your parents about it. Your grandparents, they'll know what, to, what the fuck I'm talking about. I know it's, it sounds really weird. Anyway, um, but she loves YouTube, so I'm going to have to make bitch subscribe to my channel, and she will be the only person that does, but that'll be all right. And then I can tell all of you about um, everything she has learned living just off the strip in Las Vegas. Probably pole dancing and how to properly hold a crack pipe so you don't get burned. I think those are the two most important things to learn in Las Vegas. Anyway, that's it. Bye.